All right, today we're going to talk about the Atomos Ninja V or the Ninja 5, um, as it is sometimes referred to. Now, this is a great little monitor recorder. I really like the portability, the functionality, and all the features that it has. It gives you the ability to, um, you know, live stream when you need to. And overall, the build quality is amazing. It's a little pricey. You know, well, what are you going to do? But there is one major problem with the unit, and as I've been using it for the last couple of years, I wanted to shed a little bit of light uh, onto what may be causing some of the problems um, in terms of overheating that you guys might be experiencing. So um, in the beginning, I thought that this was due to the fact that it would be getting too hot outside and the unit would just simply not be functioning as intended um, especially when you know you're filming outside and it's like 100 degrees and then you get a warning signal in the form of a yellow kangaroo saying that the unit is about to shut down and it's gonna stop working so whatever you do like finish your take and like switch it off but the thing is when you are using this as a monitor recorder you want to be more or less certain that you know that this is gonna be functioning as intended so when uh, certain errors occur and when the unit just shuts down you're like what the like like what's going on right so making this video today to like shed a little bit of light on that so with the recent firmware update you do have uh, control over the cooling um, options right now so when you go into the power tab you can uh, go into the cooling options and toggle between what is it low medium to auto you could also switch on turbo cool which sounds awesome and um, you could also dim the display uh, dimming the display is only going to come into effect when once once you are using it as a recorder as well so hopefully to kind of like you know save uh, battery and also keep it from overheating now there is a fan built into the side internal, so kind of like a, a computer, if you will, and when it gets too hot, obviously starts, you know, working and trying to cool it off. Now, when you do turn the uh, turbo cool on, it will come on and in the middle of a take, and it, it, it does get, you know, pretty loud. So I don't know if you want to um, use or like utilize that option. But um, getting back to the issue of overheating and shutting down, which is, like I said, it's a major issue. What happens is when you are, and this is from experience, so when you are filming in, in an environment that is, let's say, in a confined space where there is like limited airflow, then this unit will not be able to have enough air to circulate and therefore the fan is going to be rendered useless and it will shut off on you. So keep in mind that if you are going to be operating in an in an enclosed space su such as a like a small bedroom then then this is going to happen and there's going to be no way of uh, basically using it like i said in the beginning i thought it was due to the fact that it was too hot outside or too hot inside but it, it's not even about the uh the temperature in the room itself it's not even about how hot it is because even in cooler environments, I have noticed this. So if you are gonna be going and filming um, in, an, uh, you know, in a space that doesn't get enough air circulation, just expect, like literally expect that it might um, shut off on you. And this is gonna happen even before the overheating warning is gonna come on. So it, 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 it will simply just go dead. And if you are using this as a recorder, then uh, the take might get saved, but don't don't rely on it too much. So um, a couple of things that you can do to um, prevent that from happening or to minimize the chances of that occurring is, well, number one, instead of using, instead of using a battery during the take, what I would suggest you do is use the uh, power adapter that comes with it. Uh, it's either that or use a dummy battery. Dummy batteries are usually better because they don't produce heat and heat translates into, into you know, overheating the unit. The second thing that you are going to obviously notice is that uh, this, it has a metal encasing and uh, metal is very conductive to heat. So obviously anything, you know, the hotter it is, the warmer or the hotter the, um, the body gets. And last but not least, what you 
Last but not least, what you want to do is obviously when you are recording onto this, you want to use an SSD. Now, the SSDs that I go with are just Samsung. Uh, what is it like the 860s? These, you know, there's a, a plastic encasing, uh, which is good. Now, there is an alternative to that. Give me a second. Yeah, so Angel Bird has partnered with Atomos and they have produced these awesome metallic SSDs. And I mean, I absolutely love these and I had to have one uh, just because the way it just fits nice and snug into the unit but the problem with it is again the same thing it this is metal and the more metal you toss onto this the hotter the unit is going to get so actually what i've decided to do is man i just i just rock these uh plastic ssds and they're fine they're like half a terabyte so 500 gigs uh, a pop and these are fine you know these are fine so uh that's it for today just keep in mind that don't get like too frustrated, but keep in mind if there is not enough air circulation, then the unit is going to shut down and there's nothing that you can do about it. If you guys have any other questions about these, drop me uh, a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, totally butcher that one. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.